Hi, welcome to this Excel video tutorial. Abdila David is my name. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an auto expand data validation drop down list with tables using the old school and the new school method. So let's get started. Now we have this sample data set. To create the auto expand in the old ways, we need to format our data as an Excel table, which is already formatted, and then we need to create a named range. So let's create a name range. So I'm going to create a name range on this country. So Control shift down arrow key then i press f3 which brings the create names from selection so the top is fine then i click on ok so when i come to the name box i can actually see the named range created then in the cell that i want to drop down i'm going to go to the data tab of the ribbon and in the data tools group click on data validation now in the data validation i want to allow a list and for the source I'm going to press F3, which brings the paste name. So I'm going to select the named range created. Click OK and click OK. So when I press Alt down arrow key, I can actually select any of the countries. Now I'm going to select the US, which is the last data set in the row 20. Now this is the old school method. Now let's see the new school method. What we need to do here is only to format the data as an Excel table. And this feature is currently available in the beta channel of Excel for Microsoft 365 and the current channel. So I've informed the data as an Excel table. Just come to the cell H2 where I want the drop down. Then go to the data tab and click on data validation. So we want a list. And then for my source, I'm going to just select all the countries and then click OK. So when I press Alt down arrow key, I can actually select all the any countries. Okay. Now I'm going to select the US also, which is the last country in the row 20. Now in the row 21, I'm going to add Nigeria. So let's say we have a hundred thousand cases of COVID-19. So when I come to this drop down and press that alt down arrow key, can you see that we have Nigeria automatically added? So this is the auto expand. The table grows and of course the data validation grows. So this is a new technique which saves you a lot of time to create name range in the old school method. And as I've said, it's currently available in Excel for Microsoft 365 current and better channels. Thank you and bye for now.